Welcome to the Center for Brooklyn History. My name is Shirley brown Eileen. I'm the Manager of Education. Brooklyn Connections is one of the programs managed and operated through this department. I'm thrilled to welcome you to our 14th Annual Convocation Ceremony. We're delighted to see so many of you here this morning to exhibit and celebrate this year's achievements. Over the past year, everyone has encountered many challenges. I know it was challenging you to, to complete your projects, but all of you persevered. And dis, despite issues with Wi-Fi, technological challenges, etc., to this, I commend all of you. Thank you for sticking with it, and thank you for participating in Brooklyn Connections. Unfortunately, you were not able to visit us this year. Next year, we hope you will come back. You see, when you visit us to do research you will come here to Brooklyn Public Library's newest research branch, the Center for Brooklyn History in this gorgeous space I am in, the Othmer Library. As you know, Brooklyn Historical Society and the Brooklyn Public Library have merged to create the Center for Brooklyn History. Here, everyone has access to the study and experience of Brooklyn's history to meet the needs of the borough's many diverse communities through expanded collection, and engaging programming that will broaden and reach and impact throughout Brooklyn and beyond. What does that mean? If you want to research about Brooklyn's class, this is the place to do it. All are welcome to learn here. Since our inception in 2007, Brooklyn Connections has helped over 15,000 students explore Brooklyn's history. This year alone, we worked with 10 different schools, 14 teachers, and over 362 fourth to 12th grade students across Brooklyn. They delved into what makes this borough interesting and special. We couldn't be more proud of our partner schools, students and teachers, and each of you individually for participating in this year, in the program this year. Before we get too far into the program, I would like to take a moment to recognize my amazing, hardworking and incredibly talented colleagues Julia Pelez, Jennifer Hoyer, and Charlie Rodoy. Thank you for everything you do every day to carry out the mission of this program and support each cohort. I would also like to recognize the following Brooklyn Connections donors for their invaluable funds that they can contribute toward maintaining our program. The Morris and Alma Shapiro Fund, Vesta Family, Hearst Foundation, Epstein Teicher Philanthropies, New York Life Foundation, and Brooklyn Eagles. Without their support, Brooklyn Connection simply would not exist. We are extremely thankful to them and BPL's brilliant development team for enlisting their support. One of the goals of today is to share the love Brooklyn Public, or Brooklyn Public Library has for Brooklyn Connections and all of you who are part of it. I'd like to invite, to invite the director for the Center of Brooklyn's History Heather Malin to say a few words on behalf of CBH. Thank you so much, Shirley. Welcome everyone. My name is Heather Malin and I am the director of the Center for Brooklyn History at Brooklyn Public Library. On behalf of everyone at the Center for Brooklyn History, welcome and congratulations on completing the Brooklyn Connections program this year. What an amazing accomplishment each of you has achieved particularly during all of the challenges of COVID and remote schooling and all we faced together over the last year. Formerly known as the Brooklyn Historical Society and now part of BPL, the Center for Brooklyn History is proud to continue its longstanding commitment to expanding and diversifying representations of the history of Brooklyn and making that history accessible to all Brooklynites. Through your remarkable work, the critical history of this great borough is alive and vibrant. Your projects this year, ranging from immigration, civil rights, Coney Island, and housing. These projects, through doing this research, you're not only educating yourselves, but your community, and you are becoming engaged citizens in the borough you will shape for years to come. Today, you are historians who have the power to share what you have learned throughout your own communities, and that is very powerful. Again, congratulations. You should be proud and excited about this incredible accomplishment as we are all for you. 
And now it is my pleasure to introduce Nick Higgins, Chief Librarian of Brooklyn Public Library. Please join me in welcoming Nick. Happy Convocation Day, everyone. My name is Nick Higgins. I'm the Chief Librarian of Brooklyn Public Library. It is so good to be here with all of you today. All of you are part of a cohort of students who experienced Brooklyn Connections online this year. All of us at the library are really proud of what you've been able to create as classmates, even from a distance. We're here today to celebrate your creativity, but most importantly, your resilience throughout all of this. In the midst of a pandemic in a school year, unlike any that any of us have ever remembered, uh, you have done extraordinary work. You've been researching history while living through an unprecedented period in history that will be researched and discussed for generations to come. And I have no doubt that many of you here will contribute to that scholarship and that research in the years to come. This year, students studied Brooklyn's storied uh, tradition of community organizing and civil rights activism, a, the effects of gentrification in your own neighborhoods, and of course, the sights and sounds of our beloved Coney Island. I love getting to see your projects, your memory books, your 3D models, your dioramas, your comics, and uh, your memory books. And I, and I think what was struck me the most was how some of you were able to weave in the personal narratives and histories of your own families and community members. And it displays a, um, a deep wisdom and understanding how some of the most crucial pieces of our history can be found in our own homes and our own backyards. So congratulations to all of you. The library and the Center for Brooklyn History in particular is and should be a repository of knowledge and wisdom of the borough of Brooklyn throughout the ages. You have all taken that mission to heart and used the library's archives to create something very special and all your own. Each of you has continued the legacy of history making in Brooklyn, and we are all so very proud of you. Thank you so much to the students, to the students' families for their support, for the entire Brooklyn Connections team who does extraordinary work each and every year, and of course, to our magnificent teachers and schools for their support in this project year after year. Thank you all and congratulations and have a great day. Hello, my name is Jen Hoyer and I am an educating librarian at the Center for Brooklyn History. Hi everyone, my name is Julia Pelez. I am one of the educators at the Center for Brooklyn History. Um, we are so excited to share the part of this virtual convocation that you have all been waiting for. The moment we are spotlighting the work of this year's partner schools and the projects that students have completed. We will be sharing a few images of projects from each partner school. Unfortunately, we don't have time in this virtual ceremony to look at every project, but we encourage you to explore all the projects through our virtual project exhibit on the Padlet link that we sent your teachers. So let's begin with our first school, All City Leadership Secondary School. My eighth grade students at All City Leadership Secondary School study Bushwick Immigration, which is where their school resides. These students learned about their neighborhood's history and why people were looking to immigrate to Brooklyn through the years. Their projects included familial interviews uh, and slides touching uh, upon Dominican communities in Bushwick, Bushwick mural interpretations, creating websites and children's books, uh, children's books about Bushwick's immigration history, and so much more. Great job. Very proud of you all. The next school that we will spotlight today is the Co-op School. Fifth grade students at the Co-op School studied community organizing in their school's neighborhood, bed -Stuy. Students created projects that helped them understand their neighborhood, as well as the organizations that have worked to create change in their neighborhood, such as Brooklyn Core and Operation Clean Sweep, Hattie Carthen and the Magnolia Tree Earth Center, and the Bed-Stuy Volunteer Ambulance Corps. The next school that we're going to be talking about is PS190. My fifth grade students at PS190 study the history of Coney Island. One of my classes created, created projects that focused on Coney Island then and now, which discussed the changes that have occurred to Coney Island through the years, focusing on photographic analysis and descriptions. While my other class studied vintage Coney Island, which focused on creating questions, primary source comparisons, and photo analysis. You guys did a great job. 
super proud of you. Middle school students at PS225 participated in an after school club to learn about the history of Greenwood Cemetery and its lasting impact and role in Brooklyn's history. Through deep investigation, these students created a podcast that illuminated their research um, and that includes interviews with local history experts and discussions that focus on specialized professions, honoring the dead, immigrant leg legacies, landscape changes, and power dynamics throughout time, which Greenwood has been witness to. We encourage you to listen to the podcast on our virtual pod, uh, project exhibit, which you can find at the Padlet link we shared with your teacher. The next project we're going, uh, we're going to be spotlighting is PS261. Now, these fifth grade students study the history of Borham Hill. They created this slideshow called Borum Hill Reflections on the Past, Present, and Future, a memory book. These students talked about, their, uh, about the historic aspects of their neighborhood, comparing different important features and locations of the neighborhood that they go to school in. They also discussed the skills that they learned, such as making observations and inferences, and also note-taking, while showing pictures of their favorite sections of Borum Hill and describing their sentimental value. Thank you for your amazing project. Great job. Next, we want to recognize the work of students at Brooklyn Science and Engineering Academy. Seventh grade students learned about the history of Canarsie as a way to explore how communities change over time. They used the research skills that they developed in Brooklyn Connections to complete research projects on school integration in Brooklyn, the impact of pandemics past and present, and so much more. The next school we're going to be focusing on is PS93. Now, my fifth grade students learned about the history of Coney Island. They created a slideshow that includes historic information about the neighborhood while creating artwork that included drawings, paintings, and dioramas of Coney Island's amusement park. Beautiful projects, PS93. Thank you so much. The next school that we're going to be talking about is Nelson Mandela School for Social Justice. Now, my high school students learned about the civil rights movement in Brooklyn. Students created slides that discussed organizations such as CORE, Congress of Racial Equality, the discriminatory, the discriminatory behaviors of Brooklyn institutions such as Edmunders Bakery and even gentrification. Amazing job, guys. Thank you. Let's take a moment to recognize the work of students at New Utrecht High School. Students in 11th and 12th grade classes learned about the civil rights movement in Brooklyn and the history of community organizing in Brooklyn. They built models and created posters to illustrate the history of civil rights organizing in our borough and they made presentations about the history of anti-nuclear organizing, the Magnolia Tree Earth Center, the Flatbush Community Development Organization, and so much more. And last, but definitely not least, is PS40. Now, my fourth grade students at PS40 learned about the American Revolution in Brooklyn. For their project, they decided to make a slideshow called A Conversation with Ebenezer Fox, who was a survivor of the Jersey, which was a horrible prison ship during this war. These students gave historic background information, vivid descriptions of living conditions on prison ships, created interview questions for Mr. Fox, and included primary source analysis. Amazing job, PS40. Uh, A huge thank you to our fearless presenters. You guys have done an amazing job. We hope you'll invite your friends teaching in other fourth to 12th grade Brooklyn schools to join us for Brooklyn Connection. For more information about Brooklyn Connections, please feel free to go to Brooklyn library.org slash connections. That's B-K-L-Y-N library.org slash connections. Thank you again for all your hard work. We hope to see you at the Brooklyn Public Library. Have a good day.